Wild sheep live all over the world. In North America, we have the bighorn sheep and the thinhorn sheep. In order to survive, both of these species must endure many obstacles. Finding and consuming food high in nutrients is one such obstacle. Wild sheep are herbivores, meaning they eat plants as their food source. Wild sheep eat plant material that would be difficult to digest if it were not for their unique stomachs. These ruminants, or animals with four chambered stomachs, acquire nutrients from plant-based food by fermenting it in a specialized stomach prior to digestion, principally through microbial actions. Basically, there are four chambers to their stomach. The first two chambers are the rumen and the reticulum. These two compartments make up the fermentation vat and are the major site of microbial activity. Fermentation is crucial to digestion because it breaks down complex carbohydrates, such as cellulose, and enables the animal to use them. The food is mixed with saliva and separates into layers of solid and liquid material. Solids clump together into what is called cud or bolus. The cud is then regurgitated and chewed to completely mix it with the saliva and to break down the particle size. Smaller particle size allows for increased nutrient absorption. The degraded digesta, or food that's now in the stomach, now passes into the next chamber, the omasum. The omasum absorbs volatile fatty acids and ammonia. This chamber keeps the particle size as small as possible in order to pass into the abomasum. This is the gastric compartment of the ruminant stomach. This compartment releases acids and enzymes that further digest the material passing through. This is also where the ruminant digests the microbes produced in the rumen. Digesta is finally moved into the small intestine, where the digestion and absorption of nutrients occurs. This complex, nine-stage digestive process allows them to maximize removal of nutrients from foods with marginal quality. Wild sheep are active during the day, feeding morning, noon, and evening, then lying down to chew their cud. They go to sleep in their bedding areas throughout the day, which may be used for many years. Generally, sheep are opportunistic feeders and adapt their diet to the forage available. Bighorns eat mainly grasses, sedges, and forbs. Forbs are broad-leafed, non-woody plants. They usually have very showy flowers. Grasses are one of the largest families in the plant kingdom. Grass have leaf veins that are parallel, stems are joined, and usually hollow. Sedges are grass-like plants with triangular stems and inconspicuous flowers, growing typically in wet ground. The diet of bighorns, like thinhorn sheep, varies according to the season. For bighorn, more grasses and sedges are eaten in the summer. In winter months, when plants are reduced, they eat more woody plants like sage, willow, and rabbit brush. In looking at one study of a subspecies of bighorn sheep, the desert bighorn, it was found that on average, desert bighorn eat three to five pounds of weight vegetation a day. This study, taking place in Texas, found that the typical desert bighorn found on the Elephant Mountain Wildlife Management Area ate 1,460 pounds of vegetation a year. The components varied depending on the animal and the season. Browsing consisted of 50% of their diet, forbs 35%, Grasses 11% and 4% were succulents, or plants with thick fleshy tissue adapted to store water, such as cactus. Thinhorn sheep live in the northern regions of North America, in Alaska and some provinces of Canada. These sheep are similar to bighorn in what they eat. However, they also consume lichens and mosses. For example, a dull sheep's diet can include 50 to 120 different species of plants in the summer, but in contrast, in the wintertime, the diet is restricted to between 10 and 15 species and consists mainly of frozen grass, sedge stems, lichen, and moss. With the reduced variety of plants during the winter, adult sheep may lose up to 16% of their body mass and lambs and yearlings as much as 40% depending on winter weather severity. Dull and stone sheep occupy windswept areas in the winter where snow cover is low or non-existent. This helps them find vegetation easier. Wild sheep can also migrate, with some herds traveling much farther than others. 
The distribution and availability of forage requires the sheep to move seasonally between traditional summer and winter ranges. Wild sheep also seek out mineral licks, which are rich in essential minerals such as calcium phosphate and calcium magnesium. These are important, particularly during certain seasons when their diet may lack important minerals. Dull sheep populations in particular travel several miles to visit mineral licks where they consume the naturally occurring mineral rich soil to supplement their diet. Wild sheep are a unique animal. The food they eat and how they digest it is just one more aspect of that uniqueness. I'm Ryan Brock with the Wild Sheep Foundation. Thanks for watching.